Oh, they yeah. made mobility cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, about, which it's not, you losers. <laughs> think it's of, still not. <laughs> well, think about the companies that have like these million dollar companies that have emerged from CrossFit. That just leached like, CrossFit. Oh yeah. yeah. Like like you know all you know. Calvin and kilos <laughs> and like. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Topic Thunder. I'm your host, Silent Mike. We're here with Dean Sidoris, Captain Aquilo is a legend, Jim McD, 3SB.co, and <laughs> I got a great tongue, Kyle. <laughs> Coke Zero Kyle. People Coke say Zero Kai. People say my tongue is fine, <laughs> but I can't taste cold. No, Diet Coke isn't cold. That, Put that on my fucking uh, gravestone. Gravestone. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pepsi Shizzle sponsored. Right Pepsi sponsored yeah, funeral. <laughs> Uh, the question is is a little broad here. It's more of a discussion we're opening up here. Um, me and Kyle were discussing CrossFit and how culty CrossFit is. Mm -hmm. There's very few people that are lukewarm about CrossFit. And many of us run businesses, marketing content. Most opinions and things that are popular or get any kind of traction happen to be kind of culty like that. Either you love it or you hate it. There's very few people that just kind of like things that, except for The Rock, which is a trend here everyone loves the fucking rock i'm not with that no Me i know this uh, no no very niche but we're like the point one percent i i i despise dwayne johnson yeah <laughs> he's but, an inspiration well but, the fact that he claims well the <laughs> fact that he also claims to be like natty and not on juice and it's just like dude like what are you doing yeah uh, well yeah the epitome of health but besides the point crossfit uh people love or hate there's very few people that are mild on it what caused that why is that? Because at the end of the day, to me, it's like lifting weights. I don't hate I, it. I don't. I, uh, I don't think it's the best. I don't think it's the best form for most athletes. I don't even think it's the best form for most casuals to get into fitness or like it. But right. I don't hate it. I, I would argue that one of the things that makes it a cult is the that it has its own language. Oh uh, yeah, the wad, That's I mean. good. I think Dean has probably the best take on this. To be honest, yeah. in the world. Uh, I mean, I would agree with most of like the cultiness of it. Maybe like. 10 years ago yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It it's obviously yeah, yeah. it was it's like obviously, it was super culty like 10 yep. years ago yeah right? it's mild down for and sure. i think now it's became so mainstream that people just either just don't really care they know someone that does it and they just don't really think about it what's interesting I think that cultiness doesn't really exist as much as it did like 10 years ago i think it's just kind of this like it's so big now that it's just kind of accepted, like mass adoption, mass yeah. acceptance. The, the language is one thing for sure, Jim. And I also think that because the brand name is also the methodology, CrossFit is a business and CrossFit is their methodology mm -hmm. of cross training. Mm -hmm. um, but something that, like opposite, but not opposite, like Orange Theory, like on social media or people say like, yeah, I do Orange Theory, but they don't feel as culty about it. That's like more of the gym they go to. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I also like I've walked past like five and they've always been closed. Are they ever open? Are they I, still class closed? based only? I think are they, but they've been closed like since the pandemic. I don't know oh, if they've really yeah. been reopened. I, don't I don't think they're small boutique. I think they're pretty small square footage, so maybe they had yeah. issues. I just haven't seen like or F forty five. People mean, say they do these things, but they don't like. They're not getting a tattoo of Orange Theory. Well, also, there's no like competition. There's no competitive. True. Type. There's no competitions for Orange Theory. True. There's yeah. No, there's the no, gamify. There's no games. I know yeah. that's what Glassman himself or CrossFitters himself would say. Elevated CrossFit is that they gamify things, which yeah. is like a psychological truth. With the wads or just all of the games or, or the games. No, the wads the, too. Wads the quote yeah. like oh, each class member will write their score up at the end yeah. of the day. Everything's yeah. gamified, right? And that's the yeah. same idea why we're addicted to Candy Crush on our phone. It's just mm -hmm. a stupid game. You get old, you know, older people. Yeah. Well, that's also why like Orange Theory. And those are popular too because that's all gamified. Orange Theory is gamified. Yeah, it's all timed. Yeah. And, but so was Curves. There's like a leaderboard. There's a leaderboard at Orange Theory. Maybe not. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. There, there wasn't like a leaderboard but at some Curves, some, but yeah. Curves had like gamified like that. Like you, you shoved your little card in, you do a machine, and that but never got cool. Something took CrossFit from those levels to fucking way up here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Something yeah. did. Yeah. It's it's top level. It's like it's way up there. No, and fitness, it was like so cool to hate it. I don't know why. I remember that. It was so funny. Like everybody hated CrossFit. They're just like, "Oh, the fucking you're a CrossFit guy." Yeah. Or uh, okay. And then so they all started doing it ten years later. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Everyone's kipping. Part of it was uh, because it got culty and got got clicky. Um, there was definitely a this is the best fitness thing you can ever do. And right. If you're this not is, yeah. doing this, yeah. then you're wasting time and you're fucked up and whatever. And people, there was a lot of like, yeah low level animosity to high level animosity. And it's easy to hate that. the new guy. And there was also a lifestyle yeah, yeah. built around it, right? Like right. think about like the paleo diet yeah. and the like drinking kombucha was, like it's fucking There was a whole I was like, gonna say the food side. There was a whole yeah. reality uh submersion yeah. into cross like early cross. Yeah like, the shoes like you the shoes, just, you the outfit in, yeah you just didn't get into like the fitness side. Then you got into the the hanging out with only your CrossFit friends. Yep. 
and then like you don't hang out with your other friends all of a sudden you're just only hanging out in this little crossfit group like fuck i kind of went through that yeah myself. community like, it was it was kind of weird but um it was kind of weird. It was kind of weird. Just woke up yesterday. Yeah, you just, like, <laughs> just unplugged. <laughs> yeah. like you realize, like, no, it does get you because it's a, uh, it's always a usually a pretty, like, I think most gyms, it's a very positive environment, yeah, right? Yeah. And like, you want to be around those positive people more often. I think that in CrossFit also just kind of attracts, I think, a certain type of person. Usually, someone that kind of likes to work hard and someone yeah. that's not afraid to like uh, put themselves out there in front of others. I think it just kind of, yeah, and it's it's inviting, especially in newer ages. It is like a very um, few places we can find a real community, um, mm-hmm. and we experienced it in powerlifting. Other yeah. places that became similar to you hung out with, it's who you talk to. Yeah. Um, the difference is exactly like the in high school, same thing. You're playing, you're only hanging out with the football team. You're only yeah. hanging out with the team you play with. But mm-hmm. once you become an adult, even if you're still in recreational leagues, you play on Thursdays only, kickball, mm-hmm. and then. But you're not seeing them every day. No, CrossFit, yeah. you could see four or five times a week, so it makes yeah. sense that you get more integrated into that. Um, and maybe it is the exact same. And it, we probably could agree. And CrossFit, uh, powerlifting, and weightlifting, and even strongman, the culty niche is very similar. It's just such yeah. small scale that it didn't get yeah, exposed yeah. or made fun of as much. No, exactly. Like yeah, like like when I was like you know competing weightlifting. Also, it's it's the same. It's, there's, yeah. no, there's no difference. Yeah, it just didn't get popular for some yeah, reason. Yeah. It wasn't that, as popular. Yeah, yeah, which is maybe an overarching branding thing. Oh, you they know, crushed the branding. Yeah. yeah, the branding was insane. Yeah. I remember it everywhere. <clears throat> they they the kind of pioneered even like the Lulu Lululemon and all that. No, all, like, that, all those yeah. guys. They made Lululemon like relevant. Yeah, like, they, they really did. Yeah. Like, yeah. A lot yeah, of yoga, Canadian yeah, a lot brand, of you know. And yeah. then they blew up. They went from a yoga brand to like, okay, this is a CrossFit brand. You can keep calling it right. a yoga brand yeah. if you want, but this is a CrossFit brand now. Yeah, they yeah. started like even like foam rolling and shit. I feel like uh, definitely like, made it popular. Like that, like, or popular. Yeah, definitely made a Graston tool, like crossball. They made mobility cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they which it's not, you losers. Think it's of, still not. <laughs> well, think about the companies that have like me, these million dollar companies that have emerged from CrossFit. That just leached like, CrossFit. Oh yeah. yeah, like like you know all you know. Calvin and kilos <laughs> and like. <laughs> 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 The, uh, that, no, it's a, true. Like they, it, it built an, an it economy. allowed it allowed it. It, it built an economy yeah. for a million things. I benefited yeah. from it a billion percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah for it, sure. People it, googled it, how how to fucking squat in 2015, and my fat face showed up sometimes. They're like, didn't yeah, matter if you're powerlifting. No, it did. Yeah. You know, no, it definitely helped powerlifting. Yeah. Um, that's something that's probably not talked about enough. There's a huge spike in powerlifting um, registration from like 2014 to 2017, and it's still oh, growing. That was not, like the time for yeah. sure. YouTube for sure. Instagram, all these things helped, but. Uh, CrossFit will billion percent help, and people won't talk about it. Well, think about like USAW's memberships, like 10x. Yeah, it's probably the same from, scale from CrossFit. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was like massive. No one did what people did powerlifting. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. No one fucking did weightlifting. Yeah. There was like you go to a national meet in 2010. There's seven people. There. What's cool about That's that right. is now there's like 700. What's cool yeah. about you that is I mean? like, like weightlifting actually is legitimate sport, and so now we're seeing the repercussions of even 10 years of growth where we had medals at the Olympics this year. Yeah, you know what I mean. And like, those people and they're literally them. we're doing CrossFit. Right. Oh, they all started there. We're just a little behind. Yeah, we're behind on that. Yeah, but powerlifting is just not yeah, cool, yeah. so it's never going to yeah, – yeah, yeah, we're never going to yeah. see yeah. the end result of, wow, this is cool. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. you can kind of – where, like, records are being broken. Yeah. Like, that's cool, yeah. I guess. Well, we were talking about the f- the friction, though. It was sort of the basis of this is yeah. the friction between – Yeah, the dichotomy. Between everybody and then CrossFitters. And at the at the peak of CrossFit, you could not swing a dead cat and not and, and miss a, a CrossFit. Right. Box. I yeah, mean, yeah, they were true. everywhere. Right. And yeah. so that there's a little bit of that. Oh man, it's yeah. like Starbucks. It's and it's like, easy. It's Starbucks yeah. here on this yeah. side of the street and that side of the street. It's like, sorry, we're so popular. Yeah, if you're a power lifter yeah. and a weightlifter, it's easy to become the hipster. Then, yeah. like, that's cool, man. But yeah, we're yeah. doing real shit. Over we're here. doing heavy iron shit. Real, know? real man shit. But then the and thing is, like, shit. I, the thing is, like, like a guy like me, right? I'm not a power lifter. I don't look like one. I walk into a CrossFit gym, like, yo, what's up, dude? We'll hook you up. Yeah, you do look like a CrossFitter. Look at you. Yeah, I do. I look great. Before you wear no, board shorts, he's way too tall, dude. You gotta be like, you gotta he's, be like five six to be. He's yeah, got good. nanos oh, yeah. and board yeah. shorts on. But, it's freezing in here. But then you go to like a powerlifting gym. There's probably no signage on it. You know what I mean? You're like, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. what is going on in here? I walk in. You it was get cool kind of, to be tough. You look weird. Like I get weird looks. You, you got know? Eric like, Lillybird looking at you like. But I found the opposite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and obviously it's so dependent. Like the more CrossFit grew, the more diluted the customer service or welcoming community was. Because I've been to CrossFits billions of them and some were cool because i knew them and we had yeah, mutual yeah. friends but plenty were dickheads to me too i'm sure yeah well, well that's, 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 that's what i mean that's like, a numbers game right that's what i mean yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. because at some point they peaked though and didn't become nice anymore is what i was saying because there's too many folks doing it yeah, yeah. whereas Movie like holes. if like yeah. i'm deadlifting i think it's cool no one ever deadlifts the first person that asked me about deadlifts i'm ready to fucking yeah man come deadlift with me like this will be yeah. awesome right yeah. but if i have a thousand people deadlifting with me all of a sudden like yeah dean we're a little busy man i need this barbell right yeah yeah, yeah. scarcity mindset yeah evolves as there's more people involved right 
I think like the uh, yeah, like the big thing though, what made it like kind of culty was like was the people that were all in were all in, yeah, and then everybody else kind of like what the hell's going on. Yeah, I don't and then know. Everybody kind of figured out like, oh, these guys are cool, and they're really helping expand the other sports too. So like, yeah, just yeah. work together. Maybe I'm a loser, and I just never loved powerlifting like that. But I've just never been like that. Yeah. Like with powerlifting, basketball was my life for 15 years. I've never been like, fuck baseball players. Like, uh, baseball is not for me, and that's it. Yeah. But some people are so about it, and CrossFitters opposite too. There's a lot of CrossFitters that hated on powerlifters for being people fat don't, and lazy. People don't like people don't like change. Yeah. 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 And they just want to find. People are scared of like new things. They don't understand. I don't like change. I only like dollars. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, comment below how much you hate CrossFit. We'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> that was a huge thing on YouTube, too. Hating CrossFit oh, yeah. was on YouTube. It was huge. Yeah, because oh, CrossFit was, was like whatever on YouTube. Well,